Did you know that as of May 2024, Toronto has surpassed Chicago in the number of skyscrapers over 150 meters tall? In today's video, we'll explore the groundbreaking, super tall buildings that are transforming Toronto's skyline. You'll discover the tallest towers, the ambitious designs, and the incredible engineering feats behind these monumental projects. Get ready to be amazed by soaring glass and steel giants like Sky Tower, The One, and Former, each pushing the boundaries of height and innovation. To start things off, we've got to go over one of the most anticipated super tall buildings currently under construction in Toronto. The Sky Tower at Pinnacle One Young. This skyscraper, which is expected to be around 90 to 100 stories tall, offers about 160,000 square feet for retail and about 1.5 million square feet for office space. It's expected to be one of the most amazing super tall buildings in Toronto, especially since it's being constructed by one of Canada's leading condo builders, Pinnacle International. There's even a community centre taking up an additional 50,000 square feet. From some of the initial designs that have been shared, it looks completely futuristic and modern. But the best part is that it's not all looks. It's expected to offer residents one-of-a-kind indoor and outdoor activities. If things go as planned, the Sky Tower could end up being one of the most notable landmarks in Toronto. It wouldn't be wrong to say that this building is single-handedly starting the super-tall trend in the Toronto skyline. That said, its construction isn't without its fair share of challenges. It's been reported that while the project benefits from being so close to Union Station and the waterfront, there's still a need to upscale some basic requirements. Things like water, sewer and electrical infrastructure all need to be brought up to modern standards, which are all big costs in the end for the municipality. As of April 2024, it looks like only about 20 stories have been made, so there's still a long way to go. However, with a deadline of 2026 at the latest, the developers still have plenty of time to get this done. As for the costs involved, the exact investment costs aren't publicly available. But you can be sure that making a titan of a building like this doesn't come cheap. First and foremost, investors have to consider land acquisition, which can vary massively based on the location. Then you add in construction costs, which can be anywhere between $85 and $200 per square foot, especially for a high-end condo like this, which is built with the best materials and branded appliances. It's no wonder the unit prices for this building are going through the roof, ranging between $900,000 and $4 million Getting yourself a spot in this building will definitely require a huge chunk of change. But if things go well, the area could end up seeing taller buildings. This is especially needed nowadays with the need for housing. Super talls aren't just becoming a thing because they're a fancy trend everywhere else in the world. There's a serious need for them in Canada as far as housing is concerned. Just take a look at one other popular super tall building that's being made right now. The One. This 80-storey titan of a skyscraper is set to become one of the country's tallest structures once it's done. It's going to set a whole new standard as far as commercial and retail accommodation goes in Canada. The best part? The tower offers the perfect mix of residential, hotel and retail spaces. Its mixed-use concept is getting tons of attention on the project for good reason. Plus, its design helps to make it stand out even more it's nothing short of an engineering marvel. The building's structure has great horizontal bands at regular intervals, marking the locations of mechanical floors. It's bound to stand out, even if the Toronto skyline gets crowded with super talls in the future. At the top of the tower, you'll find a series of duplex penthouses offering breathtaking views across Lake Ontario and beyond. That said, None of this matters if the construction never gets completed. Plans for this building's construction date all the way back to 2014, when developer Sam Mizrahi acquired the land. At the time, he paid approximately 220 million US dollars for it, but that's just the start. The total cost is estimated to be around $1 billion during the planning stages. But the figure quickly ballooned to be about $2 billion at the time of the receivership filing in October 2023. Again, land acquisition and construction don't come cheap, folks. 
In 2023, construction on the skyscraper saw a delay due to some legal issues. It turns out the project incurred about $1.23 billion in debt, which has yet to be repaid. It doesn't seem like they've had much of an indication of repayment despite multiple demands and even a notice of intention to enforce security. But even with these delays, the one is expected to be open sometime in 2025. While the exact date is still unclear, some sources say it'll be done anywhere between March and November. Currently, it's crossed the 150 meter threshold, achieving skyscraper status. With 50 stories out of the expected 80 already done, progress seems well underway. So it's still a while before people will be able to enjoy all that the One has to offer, but hey, let's hope it's worth the wait. Now, not every super tall building is trying to stand out with a bold design. Some want to keep things classy and minimalist instead. The former. This project comes straight from the famed Canadian architect, Frank Gehry. This is going to be his first step into the world of residential towers. But that's not all. It's expected to be his tallest building to date. Gehry is really excited about the whole project. He even said that he's been inspired by the city's traditional architecture. The thing about Toronto is that it's not like every other city. The light and heritage make it a uniquely different place. And that's what he wants this skyscraper to reflect. Another big part about this project is that it's located right in the entertainment district in Toronto. This means that residents will have access to everything they could ever want, from elegance to opulence. Even with a relatively small site being used for its construction, the skyscraper is looking to make a huge impact in the area. The location is in an ideal spot with its proximity to the Financial District, CN Tower and Mervish Collections Art Gallery. With areas offering shopping, cultural festivities and dining areas all nearby, this skyscraper can help to enhance the area in a massive way. It's already one of the better places in Toronto, and it's bound to get even better once the former is constructed. But location aside, let's talk about the construction status. Since June 2023, construction has been underway. By December, the site was fully excavated, and the complex's four levels of underground parking were being prepared. As you might imagine, it'll be a long time before this skyscraper is done. Estimates say that folks shouldn't expect it to be done until 2028 at the latest. And that's the first tower. The second one, which has yet to break ground, will likely be done even later. Again, while the exact investment costs are a bit hazy, it's worth noting that the project crossed over $1 billion in sales alone, and about $20 million for the penthouse suite. The Union Park the idea behind this super tall building is to contribute to Toronto's iconic skyline with exceptional and timeless design. How does the building plan on doing that? Well, for that, the team behind it is focusing on creating useful office space with community serving retail and rental residential areas. There's a focus on parks and other green spaces, so this isn't going to be any of those concrete jungles people usually expect to see. With around 3.3 million square feet dedicated to just office space, Union Park has the potential to stand as one of the biggest office spaces in the area. But that's not all. One of the main goals of Union Park is to use green technologies. It's being designed to not only meet, but even potentially exceed LEED Platinum standards, allowing for better integration with the surrounding neighborhood. And so residents can expect public realm improvements green space and a new path connection. The use of progressive design strategies is definitely interesting. It's one aspect that helps to make this super tall building a tad different from many others. The developers are really focusing on a truly sustainable future here, with recycling, renewable energy and sustainable building strategies being the norm. But that's not all. The building will incorporate renewable energy measures, targeting connections to district energy systems, on-site solar and grey water use. Construction has been underway since 2023, putting the expected completion time somewhere around 2028 or 2029. Using all these sustainable technologies wasn't cheap. 
It said that the Union Park project has an estimated price tag of $3.5 billion. Still, it might end up being worth it in the end. People who are more conscious of their carbon footprint might find Union Park to be like their second home. The developers are certainly making sure that it offers all the modern amenities you can imagine, just in a more environmentally conscious way. Finally, there's one other super tall building that's worth taking a look at. The 15 Bloor Street West. Even with it just being in the proposal stage so far, this high-profile super tall building is getting a ton of attention from people. Why is that? Well, it's because the plans focus on transforming the low-rise retail properties at 18 and 19 Bloor Street West into revolutionary new super tall towers. If this happens, it's going to significantly contribute to bringing about this whole mega-build revolution that's going on, with more and more low-rise buildings getting turned into massive towers. The construction states that the completed building could go as high as 94 storeys. With it being located in close proximity to several other prominent locations, this proposal might just end up becoming a reality sooner or later. If things go smoothly, this might end up becoming one of Toronto's tallest buildings. That is an especially great feat when you consider all the other buildings that are also being made at this time and are directly competing with this to be at the top. But whether or not this actually ends up happening remains to be seen. Developer Reserve Properties filed the proposal more than a year ago in March 2023. Since then, there wasn't much going on, and to some, it looked like the proposal just wasn't going to get accepted. But almost a year later, in 2024, the City Council adopted the settlement offer. Sadly, while architectural elevation drawings are drawn up, renders are still not available. So, we still don't know just what this massive super tour will end up looking like in the end. But if it's anything like the previous Arcadis design, which is looking south to 19 Bloor West, it'll undoubtedly look amazing. It's becoming increasingly clear that the revolution in Toronto isn't just a fad. It's a genuine change in styles and trends that will likely stick. This means that much of the city might start going sky high, with super tall structures becoming the norm. There's no denying that all of the buildings we talked about just now are engineering marvels. But even beyond their amazing design, their construction will allow for more housing options and contribute to the economic growth in their surrounding areas. That said, some people have concerns, and for good reason. Problems like shadowing and affordability all have to be taken a good look at. With more and more of these towers opting for luxury, will regular people even be able to afford them? Or is the whole idea to keep normal people glued to the ground as the rich get higher and higher? In any case, there's no denying that the prospect of a futuristic Toronto with a skyline that's reaching the stars is an interesting idea, to say the least. <laughs>